analysis of forex and cryptocurrencies market. We are going to analyze forex and cryptocurrencies in the coming week. First, we have a look at the news and events that happened last week. We go to Porsage Forex Academy website with the address porsage.com. You can see last week's news here in the economic calendar section. On Wednesday, we had an important news on the US dollar and the Australian dollar, and on Thursday, we had three news related to the CPI and the US dollar. In the case of the monthly CPI, it can be seen that the forecasted value and the actual value are the same, negative 1.1, and no change is observed, and, in the case of the annual CPI, it has changed from 7.1 to 6.5. This news caused a sharp drop in the US dollar last week. After reviewing the news, we take a look at the currency pairs in the past week. We can see that we expected the growth of plus 17 in Euro USD currency pair, while in reality plus 12 happened, and for Aussie USD pair, we expected positive 12, while we can see that positive 10 happened. On the other hand, for currency pairs that were trending down, for example, we expected negative 18 for GBP JPY, while it can be seen that negative 4 was happened and the news that was negative on GBP has had little effect on this currency. In general, it can be seen that, in the last month, the economic news had the most positive effect on the euro, thus. Euro has a positive score of 6, and on the other hand, the USD has the most negative news with a score of minus 5. In general, it can be said that Euro, JPY, Aussie, CAD, CHF with less scores. Had positive news for the last month, but in relation to USD, which was mentioned before, we had the most negative score. After USD, GBP with a negative score of 4 had a lot of negative news for itself and has assigned itself the second place in getting a negative score. After reviewing the news of last week, we will go to the analysis of DXY or US dollar index. You can see the monthly time frame, it started to fall from 2002, it continued to fall until 2009, then. We had a period of ranging until 2015, and, then, the DXY trend has returned and started a positive upward trend. As you can see, in the last four months, DXY, which, was in a growth mode, has been corrected, and, has had some fall. We can see that the super trend indicator is positive, and, these four months when DXY has been negative, is just a correction. If you pay attention, we are now in this area, and we have a support and resistance in this area, which can be very decisive for us. If this downtrend breaks this area, the dollar will have a sharp decline. On the other hand, there is a possibility that next week, according to the news, there might be an upward trend. In the daily time frame, we can see that there is a downward trend, and, now, we have reached the support area. Now, we have to see what happens, how the week starts, and, continues. If the news is negative, this area will be broken. We have to see how the economic news will be in the coming weeks. After reviewing last week's economic news and analyzing the dollar index, now we will discuss the economic news of the coming week and the analysis of currency pairs. As you can see, we have three important news on the Canadian dollar. This is CPI news, all of which are expected to weaken the Canadian dollar. In addition, we have an important news about the US dollar, which is expected to increase the value of the US dollar. But on Wednesday, we have the announcement of the annual CPI for the British pound. 
which will lead to a decrease in the value of the British pound. And we have four CPI news items that are expected to weaken the US dollar. According to these economic news, we examine different currency pairs. As you can see, Euro USD will increase the most by gaining 15 positive scores from the forecasts. The highest score is related to Wednesday's economic news, which has 11 positive points. After that gold has 9 positive scores. As you can see, in addition to gold, the New Zealand dollar, silver and cryptocurrencies such as BNB, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Doge, and Tron have similar scores. This is because they themselves have no news and are influenced by the economic news of the US dollar. At the bottom of the table, CAD JPY will decrease the most with 20 negative scores, which is due to the decrease of the Canadian dollar and the increase of the Japanese yen. Based on the economic news of the week, USD CAD also looks interesting. On Monday, and especially on Tuesday, it has very positive news and finally on Wednesday, it has a lot of negative news. This could cause an increase and then, a decrease in USD CAD. In the end, we take a look at the impact of economic news of the past month on different currencies. As you can see, Euro has had the most positive news with 6 scores and the US dollar has decreased the most with 5 negative scores. The currencies of Japanese yen, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar and Swiss franc have had positive news in the past month. And the British pound has had a lot of negative news. Now, considering the economic news of the week, we will analyze interesting currency pairs. Considering the very positive score of Euro USD, we first study this currency pair. As you can see, we have a lot of positive news for Euro USD on Wednesday, and a total of 15 positive scores are predicted for this currency pair this week. In addition, you can see that 81% of the current open positions are sell positions and only 19% are buy positions. There is an important point here that I want to explain for you. The average selling price is 1.064, while the current price is 1.08327. This shows that many traders have sold positions at low prices and now they are at a great loss. This refers to a big mistake of traders who close profitable trades early, and they keep unprofitable trades open until huge losses. This is a big mistake. Professional traders close losing trades early, and they keep profitable trades open to expand their profits. As a result, we will wait for the correction and reduction of the Euro USD price in the 4 hour time frame. And when the price approaches the moving average or super trend indicator line, we can open our position. The price of gold increased a lot last week. According to the forecasts we have on the economic news, the price of gold will increase in the coming week. Especially on Wednesday, when we have the news about CPI. As the news about the dollar is positive on Tuesday, the price of gold may decrease. This causes that we enter a buying position after correcting the price of gold. It is certain that we do not enter the position in the middle of the way. And, we always open a buy or sell position after a correction or pullback. The next currency pair that interests us is USD CAD. On Monday and Tuesday, economic news predicts the growth of this currency pair. And on Wednesday, we expect it to decrease. Many changes are expected for this currency pair, because this week we have a lot of economic news on the Canadian dollar and the US dollar. According to this news, we expect price growth at the beginning of the week and then price reduction. 
according to the conditions of the chart, we can have a buy position and then a sell position. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies such as Tron and Dodge will be affected by the economic news of the US dollar. And based on Tuesday's economic news, we expect their prices to decrease at the beginning of the week, and then the price will continue to grow. As a result, we should wait for the correction and approaching the support levels and enter the buying position when the buying setup is provided. One of the currency pairs that we expect to decrease in price is CAD JPY. Positive news on the Japanese yen and negative news on the Canadian dollar has expected a price drop for this currency pair. Considering that 69% of open positions are buys, we can expect a price correction for it. With the increase in the price of CAD JPY, we enter a sell position in a suitable position when the price starts to fall. CAD CHF currency pair also has a lot of negative economic news and 19 negative scores makes us expect a big drop for it. In addition, you can see that currently 94% of open positions are in the buy position. This means that there are no other buyers in the market and the current buyers are 153 pips in loss. With the further fall in the price of this currency pair, the loss limit of the existing buyers will be activated and they will be thrown out of the market. And this will mean more sell and further fall in the price of this currency pair. As a result, after each correction, we enter a sell position with the appearance of signs of price reduction. The next currency, we are interested in, is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. At the beginning of the week, according to the economic news on Tuesday. We expect a correction in the downward trend of this currency pair. After three months, the BOJ has a conference this week. Remember that the BOJ conference three months ago stopped the downward trend of the Japanese yen and increased it. As a result, the USDJPY currency pair entered a downward trend. For now, Based on the predictions on the economic news, we expect this downward trend to continue. And, after every correction and price increase, we enter a selling position in a suitable position. Of course, we look forward to see what will be discussed at the BOJ conference The last currency pair, is the US dollar against the Swiss franc. In this currency pair, we expect an increase and in correction in the downward trend of this currency pair, at the beginning of the week. So, we wait until after every correction. As soon as we see the signs of continuation of the downward trend, we enter the sell position. In the end, I would like to mention two extra points. First, we always enter a position after correction or pullback. We never open a trade in the middle of a move. Second, we always set a loss limit for our trades and close the trades that enter into losses quickly. I hope you have a good week and your trades are profitable.